Hello, and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. I'm trying out a new camera angle. Do you like this for the intros, or would you prefer I actually sit at my desk and you can look at the bookshelf behind me? Which you're currently sitting on, by the way. <laughs> anyway, today's video is a special video. A little bit of a backstory. Back in December, I was watching a PewDiePie video. Sub to PewDiePie, by the way. He needs the help. <laughs> and he had tried out a website called Cameo. Absolutely not sponsored. I decided to try this out on my own. And if you don't know about Cameo, it's a website where a whole bunch of celebrities and online influencers will provide a service to you where you can pay a small fee and they will record the personal message, video message greeting of your choice. And I decided to see if there were any YouTubers I knew who would agree to record a message to me, giving me an art challenge with the acknowledgement that I would be using the video of them giving me the challenge in the video of me doing said challenge. And lo and behold, I found one. So you are about to watch none other than Matthew Santoro give me an art challenge and then I will complete it. Matthew Santoro, if you're watching, thank you so much for being such a good sport. I will at you everywhere that we both are to make sure that you get to see my art from your challenge to me. And sorry that it took so long. Thanks. <laughs> Hello Jenna, Matthew Santoro here. Listen, I recently discovered your channel, which is Jenna Gets Creative. I know you recently sent me a message. I checked it out. I'm super impressed with your work and I wanted to challenge you to draw me. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. I'm always looking for cool artwork and I, I want to see what you can do with it. I want to see what you can do with the bald head and the teeth and the, the whole, the eyebrows, the beard, the whole thing, the, the psychopath eyes, all the above. So if you could do that for me, I'd be super grateful and uh, make sure you send me the video on Twitter or any other social network because I really want to see it. And if anyone else is watching this, make sure you subscribe to this girl because she's super, super talented and she deserves it. All right, thanks again, Matthew Santoro, for giving me this challenge, for being such a great sport and uh, allowing me to do this. I, uh, I will definitely tag you, send this over on Twitter as you asked. <laughs> so I decided to channel Andy Warhol a little bit here, do multiple frames of the same subject in different colors, and I thought it would be fun to do completely contrasting colors, so whatever color I colored Matthew in, in a frame, then the background would be the opposite color on the color wheel. And I really like how it turned out. I really had fun playing with my colors in this way. I kind of realized halfway through that I have no idea what Matthew's favorite color is. I'm sure that's come up somewhere in the banter in one of his videos, and I have watched most of them, but it, it's not a, a fact that has stuck out. But my favorite color is red, and I, I didn't end up having an opportunity to use that because the colors I ended up using in the first and third frames that I colored kind of dictated how everything else would go, and uh, red just didn't end up being in there. But that's okay. I I really enjoyed working with the colors I chose. The eagle-eyed among you may notice that the first frame I just colored did include some of the colors from the March Copic colors that uh, the North American distributor picked for this month's three marker challenge. I got them brand new for that challenge, so I am using them for the second time in this piece. And just in case anybody who's familiar with markers is wondering why I'm getting a bit of a, a patchy effect on this, that's not bad marker technique, that's not drying out markers, I am doing it on purpose, and I'm achieving this technique by using an uncoated paper. So unlike the Express It blending card that you see a lot of uh, alcohol marker artists using, unlike the thinner coated transotype paper or anything in between, this is just plain old 110 pound cardstock from the scrapbooking section at Michael's. 
and since it's not coated it is soaking up the marker a lot more and a lot quicker than a coated paper would and so I am getting parts of the paper that soaked in more than others and I really like the monotone marbled look it creates. I just thought it was really cool and artsy and kind of cartoony which really works for the uh, Andy Warhol channeled aesthetic I was going for in this piece. It was a lot of fun to do, a lot of fun to play with so many colors in such a simplistic way. How many times can I say it was really fun? <laughs> but anyway, if you have never watched a Matthew Santoro video, I do highly recommend checking him out. Of course, I will link to his channel down below. And uh, yeah, he's a fellow Canadian. He doesn't live in Canada anymore, as you know, most of the big vlogger type YouTubers do move down south. That's what he did, and I wish him all the best in his continuing career. But, you know, fellow Canadian-born talent here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so yeah, go check him out. He has just great uh, information videos, fun facts. He does a series called 50 Amazing Facts. I really enjoy watching him, and uh, if you're lucky, the knowledge well comes out, and that's just so much fun. I wanted to get specifically a knowledge will pose in this, but uh, I was running out of time picking poses. Uh, what I did was I just pulled up some of his videos on my iPad and just paused it at random, and if I really liked what was there on the screen in pause, then I took a screenshot and that was my reference for the four frames. So these are all paused shots from some of his more recent videos this year, last year. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I call it the Four Faces of Santoro. <laughs> but anyway, if you're new here, please do subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday at minimum. I often have bonus videos. Kind of slacked on that in the early part of the year after everything was so busy around the holidays, but I do want to get back into that and I have filmed a bit of a backlog now, so I can. <laughs> I, I may be releasing this before the YTAC bonus that I've been teasing about. Or maybe after, I'm not sure. I am recording it in time that I can do it before, so we'll see when I put it out. I hope that PewDiePie is still winning the uh, sub war when I put it out because of what I said in the intro. I filmed the intro like weeks ago now. <laughs> Yeah. If you like this video, please do comment down below, hit the like button, all that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. I love reading your comments, and I do my best to respond to everybody's comment as soon as possible. I'd love to know, do you watch Matthew Santoro? Is he one of your go-to vloggers or information guys? Whatever you want to call that category. And, uh... Do you like this style? Would you like to see me do other people or maybe even famous pets in this style? I thought it was a lot of fun. I, I'd be interested in trying this kind of thing in a medium other than marker because this, yeah. It surprisingly takes a long time getting those flat or almost flat backgrounds in marker on uh, the cardstock and uh, I just, I figured my thinner transfer type marker paper would be too thin and delicate for this kind of punishment. <laughs> punishment because of the amount of ink, not because of what I'm putting on it. Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. See you later. <laughs> you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe and ring that bell. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, and I feature artists and crafters in my end card. Use the hashtag LookJennaYT. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys!